Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be painting on some wood ornaments with acrylic gouache. That's what we're doing. So let's jump right in. Okay, so today we are going to be creating some really cute Christmas tree decorations. I have these natural wood slices that I bought like a few years ago. I think I got them off Amazon um, and it comes like in a box like this and I think there were 40 or something in there and I've just been using them over the years for decorations for family members and what I've been doing is painting the back white the background white and then writing their name and then doing like a little bit of holly or something on that but i thought i would do like really tiny cute scenery um maybe some florals and just have fun with it so we're going to do a couple different designs and for this you're going to need acrylic paint or craft paint something that will not wash away i'm going to be using my acrylic gouache and the reason why i'm using acrylic gouache is because i really like the matte effect it has on it but it's not reactivated with water, so it's permanent. Um, but you can use, like I said, craft paint or acrylic paint, whatever you have. So this is what I'm gonna be using, my Liquitex acrylic wash. Make sure you have some brushes that you don't care if they get destroyed. I will probably end up using my smaller one here, um, my watercolor brush for the finer detail. Um, but I'm just gonna make sure to wash it out thoroughly so I do not ruin my watercolor brushes. Otherwise, I would use my, you know, dollar store brush. Okay, so for this one, I'm thinking of doing like a snowy scene. So I'm gonna grab some blue. This is just a primary blue. I'm gonna grab some black. And then some white. My white's almost done, I just bought another big tube of this because I actually really like this paint okay and that's all the color that I'm going to use for this one so I'm just going to take my flat brush here it's a Princeton select but I use it for like acrylic and stuff I don't use it for watercolor and I'm going to mix a darker blue so I'm going to take some blue here a little bit of black and it actually makes this nice really dark kind of gray and I'm just going to go around the top this creating a dark sky I'm gonna add a little bit more blue add a bit more blue and I'm gonna gradually make it a bit lighter as we go down I might add a little bit of white. A bit more blue. And I'm just gonna to continue to try and blend it as best I can. To get a nice gradual sky like that if you hear my son freaking on the background we're potty training <laughs> downstairs well my husband's potty training my son right now he's been a little bit resistant this morning so that's fun okay so i'm gonna grab a bit more white a bit more blue and we're gonna do like whitish kind of snow but light blue so I'm just gonna do the ground and let's actually cover the bottom with this light color okay this is gonna be a snowy scene at night And I like using a flat brush for this just because I find it's easier to control like straighter lines. Like that. Okay. I'm gonna 
grab some more white and we're going to do a bit lighter towards the front. So the snow in the background kind of looks like it's further away and there's a bit more shadow. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to do some trees in the background. So I'm going to grab a really small brush and they're going to be pretty dark. So I'm going to grab my blue, a little bit of black. We're going to make them nice and dark in the background. Okay. So taking a really small brush, I'm going to do my vertical lines like we do with our watercolor like that. And we're just going to do little flicks for the, the branches. Just try and do your best. I know it's a little harder. Oops, I had a lot of water there. My bad. Hmm. Like that. We'll have this one resting in the background. Maybe one right beside it. that. Okay, and then I'm going to have one right up front here. Just adding a little bit of water to my brush just to thin out the paint a bit. Okay, I'm making it really dense in the middle of the tree. And we're gonna be doing snow over top, so it doesn't really matter too much. Well, it's kind of blending in with the white. It's all good. Okay, and then I wanna see some shadows. We're gonna have a bit of like sunlight kind of coming from one side. Okay. So I'm going to start placing a bit more white snow. Actually, let's do the shadow first. So I'm going to grab blue, this like light blue, darkish blue color, and we're going to put like a bit of a shadow that's being casted by this tree. Try and thin out my paint a little bit more. that and then same with this one maybe a little bit darker Ooh, not too dark a bit more blue still snow right like that so it's like it's casting a shadow and then I'm going to grab a bit more white and blue for the snow I want it a bit lighter so it's like the sunlight is kind of, oh, there's water on my brush. The light's coming from this way, so it's gonna make it a little bit brighter on the snow. Oh my goodness, my child. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to do the snow. So the snow with um, a shadow will be a light blue. So it's not going to be white, it's going to be a light blue. And then the highlight is going to be white. So let's grab a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. So you get this nice light blue. And we're just going to start doing snow on top of these trees. Just kind of chunky, maybe a bit more blue, because I want it to be a bit more of a shadow, because it's nighttime. Okay, just like really chunky and it's smaller towards the top and then the chunks of snow kind of get a bit bigger towards the bottom. This actually doesn't look too great, but that's okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Like 
this. Okay, I'm just doing chunks of snow. And then once we add that highlight, it will be, it'll really make it pop. Now I think I put a bit too much snow on one side here. So I'm just gonna take that dark tree color that we had, and I'm just gonna try and do a couple of the branches peeking out like that. That's one thing I like about working with like acrylic or gouache is that if you make a mistake, you can just go right over it. Okay, like that. Okay, so we have our shadow snow and now we're gonna grab some pure white and it's just gonna skim the one side of the tree. Okay. And it really kind of brings it to life. See what I mean? Just pure white. So it's kind of like the sunlight. Maybe a sunrise is kind of starting to hit it. Like that. And you can even put a little bit of more lighter white on the snow. Oh my goodness, my son. Okay. Like that. Cute. And now we can do like some stars if you want. I'm just gonna take some white Or you can flick it, maybe a little bit of snow instead. So I'm just gonna wet it up just a bit. That, nope, that didn't work. That, there's blue on my brush, it's fine. <laughs> Continue to make some stars, just have them randomly. Like that. And there you go, there's one of your winter scene decorations. Okay, and so there you go. I love how that one turned out. Um, it's so cute and I love how it's matte and even the wood slices, it makes the sky look like it has some shape to it, which is really cool. Okay, so now we're gonna do another one. This one, I already painted the background white. Um, and like I said before, I usually do like someone's name on this. I think I'm gonna do like a little wreath. So this is gonna be so easy. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I'm going to take some green on my fancy palette here, green. I'm going to make it a little bit darker with some black, just a little bit of black there. I'm going to grab some red, oops, there was black all over that one, like that, and I think I think that is it. Oh, I have black all over my hands now. Perfect, it's all good. Okay, so this one we're gonna make super, super easy. So you want like some sort of round brush. I think I'm gonna use my really small brush for this just to have a bit more control. Um, actually, first I'm going to mix my color with a different brush. So I'm gonna take some green, I'm just gonna put it a little bit to the side, take a little bit of black, a little bit more just to make it a little bit darker i might actually even grab a little bit of red to make it look a bit more natural looking so it's not as like bright green okay i'm just going to try and take all that paint off my brush i'm going to wash it off before it ruins my brush okay now i'm going to grab my small brush here 
And I'm just gonna start doing, try to make sure you don't have too much water on your brush because you don't want it to drip everywhere. I'm just gonna start doing just like little stems, like little dashes around in a circle. Just to kind of guide where we're gonna put this wreath. And okay. Now we're just gonna be using the shape of the brush to make these kind of like full leaves. So I'm just gonna do like a little line and then just press down. Little line, press down. And we're just gonna go around, press down. It's so easy, press down. And this is why it's important to have a round brush. Um, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space. I'm gonna go to the next little dash here, do the same thing on either side, just stagger them. Turn it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. They're leaves. <laughs> leaves are not completely perfect. Like that. Cute. Then I think I might add maybe some sticks or something in between. Just kind of winging it here. So I'm gonna grab some red and green. And I'm gonna make a brown. It's a bit more on the red side, so grab a bit more green. A bit more green. Okay. Then I think I'm just gonna do some like little sticks around and then we're going to do like little red berries coming off of them so in between those little bits they can be curving just try and use really really light pressure and a thin brush if you can find one like i said your brush quality doesn't really matter you just kind of want to make sure they're they're really thin tips so you can get those nice delicate lines Like that. Okay. Wash that off. And now we're gonna put little berries on the ends of those. So again, if you're using a watercolor brush or one of your good brushes, cause you don't have any others, make sure you wash it off really, really well. And I'm just gonna Dab little red berries on the ends of those twigs. And I've actually made a few versions of this kind of decoration this year for some friends. And I use it as a tag on their gift. And then they can use it as a decoration on their tree. Multi-purpose. <laughs> like that. I feel like it's a little lacking here. Could add a little bit more fullness. And there we go. And there you go. And then you can write their name in the middle. I think I might write 2020 <laughs> in this one um, and just throw it on my mom's tree or something. But cute, right? I'll do that after when it dries. Okay. Okay. So I think what I want to do now is some floral decorations. Um, and we're going to do two. And I want to keep them in the same color palette. So they kind of go together, but they're opposites. So I want to make a bit more of a natural color. I'm going to do green and red but I wanna make them a bit more muted. So to make a color muted, um, you can just add its contrasting color and green and red are contrasting colors. So one will just have a bit more red to it. So I'm gonna grab this red and mix it kind of with that brown that we made to make this muted kind of red color. 
like that. And I'm just gonna paint the background, this like burgundy, beautiful red color that we made. And all we did was add green to it, just a little bit of green. And one thing I love about this paint is that it dries fairly quickly. I feel like craft paint will be very similar just in the drying time and even maybe like the matte finish. So you don't need this paint at all. You can definitely go to the dollar store and get some cheaper craft paint for this. You do not need to spend an arm and a leg. And also I know at some craft stores they might even sell the wood slices. Sorry, I don't have a link for them. I'll, I'll see if I can find them, but I don't, I don't think there's a link for them. I bought these years ago. We're gonna wait for that one to dry and let's do a green background for this one. But I think I actually even wanna add a little bit of a blue tint to it. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of blue. And I'm gonna mix the blue and the green together. And then some black. Or you could always mix the red, but I don't have any more red on my palette right now, so. I wanna make it nice and dark. Actually, I want it a bit darker than that. I could have added red. Or maybe I should have. I don't know. Okay, let's paint the background of this one. I'm just going to add a little bit of water on my brush to thin it out. So now we painted the backgrounds. Um, we're going to do some florals on them. And I think I want to do some white florals. So I'm going to grab my white here. And you do want to make sure it's fairly dry, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. This one's still wet. This one is drying, so it should be okay. Um, I'm just going to grab a different brush, a little bit smaller. I'm going to grab my white. And I'm just going to do some, like, messy kind of petal shapes and they can blend a little bit with the background if you want it has a little bit of color still there it will kind of act as a shadow you can always do another layer I keep forgetting that my head's probably in the shot here Honestly, not doing anything like too crazy or special or hard, just just some florals and just like little bits of florals like that. Okay. If you want to grab like a tiny bit of black and white and make a, like a light gray to make some shadow in there too, you can do that. Like towards the center or something. Might grab a little bit more white and just like that. And we will do some sort of center. I'm gonna grab my smaller brush and get my green. There's water on my brush. Oh man. <laughs> okay, and now I'm just gonna do some leaves. So a light stem and then do the same kind of leaf shape that we made on our wreath super easy or you can do like little pine needles whatever you want like there's no wrong way to do this and just kind of have these leaves going different directions coming from the flowers And 
And I'm honestly make like they're messy. They're not perfect. Just dabbing my brush down using the shape of that round brush. Okay, having one come out there. There we go. Okay, and we'll do a center for this one in a minute. Okay, now we're gonna do some same white florals on this one so they go together. They're just opposite colors. Okay, grabbing my white. Kind of like just like a five petal flower. But it's not too detailed, it's not perfect. Do half a flower on the side. Like that. Okay. Add a little bit more white to whatever you need. If you want to do another layer of white to make it a bit more brighter, you can do that too. Okay, now we're gonna get, instead of green, we're gonna make this burgundy red. I have to make more. So we are doing the same colors. And those will be the colors of the leaves. So let's grab a little bit of our green and mix it in with our red to get that same red color. If you mix too much green, it's gonna turn brown. You want it to be a bit more on the red side. Okay, and then you're just gonna do same shape of leaves. evenly spacing them around like that okay and then we will do the center of these flowers I think I like the red one better it looks really cute again grabbing my small brush kind of get this golden color so it's just like the tiniest bit of that red mixture okay and I'm just cool Putting my hand in it, of course. Just gonna dab in the center. That's it. And there you go, you have two matching floral pieces that would look really cute together on a tree. So if you want to do it for a couple or, you know, a family, I think that's a really cute idea. Okay, and then for our last one, I was thinking of just doing a really cute snowman face. So I think I want to paint the background blue for the sky. And you know what? I think maybe we'll just do... So we're going to do like a big snowman head here like this. So I actually don't want to paint on where I'm gonna put the snowman, so I'm gonna paint around it. So I'm just making that little pencil mark. I want a bluish grayish sky, like it's dark. Okay, and now we're gonna do the snowman. And I want it a nice kind of like light blue, kind of like our, our snow here. So I'm just gonna take the white and just a little bit of blue. And we're gonna do it nice and light and then we'll do a bit more of a, a highlight. 
Okay, so we have our light blue snowman there. If you want to make it a little bit darker on one side, you can definitely do that just to add a little bit more shadow. Okay, so we'll make this side the highlighted side. Just like a tiny shade darker, like the tiniest. Okay, because we're going to act like this is a snowman at nighttime. That's why our sky is so dark and our snow is blue. I'm going to grab my smaller brush. I'm going to do a bit more of a shadow. On this side, just taking a bit more gray, just blending it out, especially under kind of where the neck's going to be. Like that. And then along this side. Okay, a little bit more. Just try and blend it out while it's all still wet. Okay, like that. And then you can just grab some pure white and go along the side. and then blend it out so it might get a little bit more blue as it comes in. We want it as pure white to this side as we can and then just blend it in with this blue. You can add a little bit of water to your brush to just thin it out. Okay, again, we're gonna grab that pure white just to really Lighten it up over here so it's like the moon's reflection, the light. Oops. Okay, and if it's too sharp, just blend it out. Wash and dry off your brush, kind of like we do with watercolor. Just too dark there, or too light there. There we go. Okay, so now let's do his eyes and stuff. So I'm going to grab some black. We're going to put them up, kind of like he's looking up a bit. So I'm going to black. Black. Let's do some dots for his mouth. Oopsie. It's all good. Like that. Let's do his little carrot nose. So we can grab our red mixture here and then our yellow. Oops, more yellow. To get kind of like a brassy orange. Which is also good for a nighttime color. It wouldn't be as vibrant orange. Okay, and then we can grab a bit more of the red, make it a little bit darker underneath where that light wouldn't be hitting. Like that. And then you can grab a little bit of white and get where the light would be hitting at the top here. Like that. And then you can even grab a little bit of your grayish blue color. Do a little bit, a little bit of white too. A little bit of darkness behind the nose. There'd be a bit of a shadow there. Okay. And maybe if you want to do like a scarf or something, we could do that. So let's grab our our dark red that we've made because that's also a good nighttime color. I'm gonna add a bit of water to it. When I say nighttime color, I mean what it would look like in the shadows. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Nighttime color. Like how at night, the snow looks a little bit blue or dark. You know what I mean? 
Hope it makes sense. Let's have the scarf go down this way. So we can add a little bit of black to that mixture and then make this side a bit darker. Okay, because there's a bit of a shadow there. And then we're gonna grab a little bit of white and add it to the side. So it's like a highlight. Oops, that's too much. <laughs> We can add a bit more white after too. Just try and blend it out the best you can. Might get even more white here. Just mix it a little bit and really highlight that part up. And try and blend it out. And then maybe go a bit darker right underneath here. There you go. Let's grab some pure white and do like a little dab on the eyes like that. And then last but not least, you can do little snowflakes. Try and make them different shapes or not different shapes, different uh, sizes. Some small, some big. Have it falling on the snowman. And there you go, so cute, a little snowman at night. And there you go, just add some of your favorite ribbon or even twine, I like to use twine to make it look a little bit more natural. But this ribbon's really cute too, and there you go. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day guys. Bye.